at short-term yields and, and the 10-year yields, it seems they are getting that message, right? I think that you can't necessarily translate this week's price action into what will actually happen when the Fed taper. Um, you know, I think this year has been dominated by um, the Fed guiding expectations on tapering and then trying to break the link between tapering and rate hikes. And I don't think the Fed have quite sort of succeeded. So I think um, when they do actually taper, we are going to see an enhancement of the forward guidance. They could cut the excessive deposit rate as, uh, as well. Um, so the Fed are going to be sort of uh, fighting to break that linkage. Um, but I think, you know, into next year, we'd still see scope for the 10-year yield to rotate up to 3%. Okay. All right. So, so in the meantime, you sit on your hands, do you? No, I, th I think at the moment, um, you know, the market's, you know, got a lot of liquidity. Um, it's a gentle drift upwards in uh, equity markets. Uh, bond markets are probably churning, as is uh, foreign exchange. Um, the next key focus, which is already sort of uh, being looked at, is the employment report on December the 6th. What about the ECB? Draghi's speaking today, future of European banking. Uh, he's in Frankfurt, I believe, uh, um, uh, making this speech. What are your expectations there, and, and how is the market expectation of what he's going to do changing now? I think in terms of banking union, um, he's going to sort of talk positively. Um, the stress tests, uh, while finding some problems next year, is likely net net to actually be positive for the eurozone and i think he'll play that dimension in terms of monetary policy i think um, you know the broader thrust of what the ecb is saying is that we're ready to take uh, extra easing measures um, and i think that they have outlined those i think it's a bit premature however for the market to think that they're going to sort of produce anything in the next couple of meetings um, you know, and I think uh, that we're more likely to see them enhancing their forward guidance at the December meeting and emphasizing that rates are going to remain extremely low for a long period. We've had um, a breakdown of German GDP this morning, Q3 driven solely by domestic demand. Um, is that a worry? Um, not for Germany, but it is, I think, for, uh, for the Eurozone. Um, I think the Eurozone generally, if you look at the picture, uh, the Dutch are still struggling with a debt hangover. France, looking at the data, isn't quite recovering, and neither is Italy. And I don't think you can build a Eurozone recovery on Germany and a bit of a bounce back in Spain.